watershed is an area of land that collects the water falling onto it like rain and snow. Because water is drawn downhill by gravity, the highest points of a watershed, like the ridges, mountaintops, or high hills, define the watershed's boundaries. Water either flows over the surface of the land in streams or rivers, seeps into the ground to flow underground or recharge groundwater aquifers, or returns to the atmosphere by evapotranspiration. Some of the water is collected and remains in lakes or seeps into the ground to become groundwater. Most, however, travels the full network of streams and rivers and ultimately drains into an ocean. Watersheds can be as small as a single stream or as large as basins, containing many smaller watersheds. Watershed often cross municipal, regional, or even international borders and can be governed by organizations with competing values or interests. BC has nine watershed basins, and they are the Mackenzie, the Fraser, the Columbia, the Pacific Ocean Seaboard, sometimes divided into the North Coast and South Coast, the Nass, the Skeena, the Stikine, Taku, and the Yukon. Each basin includes many smaller watersheds. For example, the Fraser River Basin is composed of 12 watersheds, including the Nechaco, Cornell, and the North and South Thompson Rivers. Mountainous regions in the province collect snow and ice in the winter and release it as meltwater in spring and summer. Most freshwater input into the oceans off BC's coast comes from this meltwater and it is a critical element of healthy marine ecosystems. Watersheds are important because they supply us with our drinking water, provide us with water for agriculture and manufacturing, offer opportunities for recreation, and provide habitat to all the plants and animals within the watershed. When watersheds are healthy and functioning well, they provide food and fiber, clean water, and habitat for native plants and animals. They move sediment from the mountains to the beaches and bays, sorting it along the way to create diverse landscapes and habitats. They cycle nutrients and convert them into forms that living organisms can use. Their floodplains and wetlands purify, absorb, and store water, and then moderate its release to reduce harmful flooding, while also sustaining flows during dry periods. They even influence air quality by absorbing pollutants. Healthy, intact watersheds provide many ecosystem services necessary for our economic well-being, including reducing drinking water treatment costs and protecting property values. Land use activities influence the movement of water through watersheds in many ways. Some of our activities speed up the movement of water. Solid surfaces like parking lots, sidewalks, and the roofs on houses prevent water from seeping into the ground and increase surface flow when it rains or snow melts. Roads and ditches gather up this surface flow and concentrate it into small channels which in turn increases the flow rate or speed of moving water. These two effects combine to increase the risk of erosion and sedimentation of streams and rivers, as well as the movement of nutrients and pollution into the watershed. The increased surface flow also increases the risk of unnatural flooding because the ground is not able to absorb the fast moving water as easily. Other human activities slow down the movement of water through watersheds like weirs or dams that create reservoirs for irrigation or hydroelectric power generation. A hydrograph charts how a stream's water flows. The rate of flow is typically expressed in cubic meters per second. This graph compares three streams after a rainstorm. A natural stream in a healthy watershed a stream draining from a town, and a stream with a dam. See how the highest flow, or fastest moving water, is different for each stream? 
How would these changes impact human safety and fish habitat in the watershed? Use BC Tomorrow to see how past land use has impacted the watersheds in your region in the past and what effects land use may have in the future. British Columbia's future is in your hands. See what you can do.